Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? First place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Yeah. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss B? How risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow cause we gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see? Convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, 
we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit stream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. life or blaze of glory hmm later now do my best to talk us up Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Claim to want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego.
closed right now. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Just answer the damn question. You seem a little tense, Chumba. Go grab a box. It might take the edge off. Have fun, relax. Find me once your mood's improved. I'll serve you a drink then. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. And? Like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured, you'd know. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like... Nothing's wrong. Really. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot, you got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Mm, yeah, no. How do my price range? Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? 
the media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. Like no. Yeah. They can be a very Sorry, useful I tool. To. Good I'll for do whatever I can. analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make 